Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning ka din. You are listening to Relax FM. Mic check. Yes. Member of the KSP. Relax, 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 relax. Kabisanan ng mga streamers ng Pilipinas. Oras, alas 11.40 ng umaga. And that time check was brought to you by Spy Flex. Sa isang kagat, kita lahat. Sabi nila, maganda lang ang boses ko dahil sa mic. Relax, relax, relax. Sabi ko naman, totoo yun. Dami pang gustong s**t. Huwag mo akong sa pagkumpas. That song was brought to you by Yellow. Ang tigas mo. Hello there, this is your Dito Pops of Relax Media and welcome to another microphone-related video. This time, pag-uusapan po natin kung worth it ba talaga o kailangan mo ba talaga ng ganitong microphone or if you are just fine with a humble BM800. Kung gusto niyo malaman, stick around for you to find out. Ta-da-da! So yun nga, nabanggit ko na sa intro natin kanina, do we really need an expensive microphone such as the Rode Procaster or okay lang naman na gumamit tayo ng BM800? Well, the short answer is, yes, of course, we're just fine using a humble BM800 for as long as alam natin gamitin at alam natin yung limitations ng microphone na yan. Well, generally speaking, kahit anong microphone pa yan, for as long as you are being heard clearly by your audience, by your viewers, at hindi siya maingay at uh, wala siyang annoying buzzing noises, wala siyang annoying hiss, eh okay na okay yan. So, nasagot ko na yung tanong. Pwede na kayo lumayas. De, joke lang. Pakinggan nyo yung BM800 in 3, 2, 1. Now. Alright, so now you are listening to me through the humble BM800. 450 pesos ko nabili itong mic na to. Now, the first thing that you would want to do para magamit mo ng maayos ang BM800 and for you not to have those harsh plosives and very harsh s- High frequency sounds. Kailangan mo siya lagyan ng pop filter or clown nose. Ayan. It could work. Um, this one could work. Uh, or yung malaki yung bilog. Kaso lang baka maraming may ayaw nun dahil natatakpan yung mga mukha nila sa, sa stream, right? Now, I'm used to uh, having the mic right in front of my face dahil hindi naman importante sa akin na makita niyo yung mukha ko sa stream. <laughs> uh, pero this is a, this is a must yung uh, pop filter or any kind or any any sort of uh, foam material na para lang hindi masyadong harsh yung uh, yung uh, mga high frequencies yung mga ezzies yung mga yan uh, dahil nakakairita yon now just a few things to know this is a cardioid condenser microphone meaning to say kailangan niya ng 48 volts phantom power uh, for it to sound decently Now, nabanggit natin yung 48 volts of phantom power. It could be supplied either by a power supply. Yan yung tawag natin yung mismong phantom power. You can get that for as low as nakakita ko ng 850 pesos sa Lazada or Shopee. Salamat, Shopee. Ayan. Um, you can buy that to power this microphone or be it any other condenser microphones para tumunog ng maayos yung mic. Because yes, you can plug this directly to the uh, mic jack at the back of your computer at uh, yes it will sound uh, pero mas malakas yung magiging noise floor niya because it does, it is not able your your computer kahit na gaano kalakas yung computer niyo kahit gaano kaganda yung motherboard ng computer niyo it does not have enough oomph or enough power to uh, to supply the needed 48 volts ng condenser microphone so that's number one na dapat mong uh, gawin dapat mong i-assure uh, if you will be using a condenser microphone such as the BM800 um, you can also purchase yung uh, dedicated USB audio interface which I highly recommend uh, picture will be somewhere around here uh, dahil there are two yeah there are two things na gusto ko sa audio interface compared sa phantom power uh, Assuming that you are able to purchase, ano, kung meron kang budget for uh, um, an audio interface like the one I'm using, the Behringer UMC22. Number one is you have control dun sa gain. You are able to uh, control your preamp. Gain po is the, uh, um, the ability, our ability to uh, turn turn up the preamp of the mic bago pa pumasok yung audio signals from the microphone papunta ron sa 
papunta sa computer mo, you are able to raise the uh, level of the mic. It offers you yung flexibility ng uh, audio levels if you have that gain adjustment. The second reason bakit ko recommend yung audio interface, that is because most, if not all, ng mga audio interface, because most, if not all, ng mga audio interface has the ability for you to plug in your headphones, be it gaming or studio headphones, para sa real-time monitoring ng microphone, which is very important para malaman mo if you're clipping, how do you sound, Uh, magka-idea ka kung ano ang tunog mo papunta sa stream and uh, at the same time again in most cases yung mga audio interface po if not all ay uh, sound cards din meaning pwede mong pakinggan yung playback from your computer from your game from the uh, music na play mo sa PC papasok sa audio interface out to the headphones that you are using so that is the second step para magamit mo ng maayos, ma-appreciate mo yung ganda nitong Humble BM800 natin. The third thing is know the limitations of the microphone. The limitations of microphone was slightly covered dun sa first, first step na sinabi ko kanina, which is the pop filter. This mic is very easy to pop. It is very easy to clip. Meaning, yung mga, yung mga sudden changes ng volume mo from from this normal speaking level at nagulat ka let's say for example you're playing a uh, horror game bigla kang sumigaw it will definitely clip the mic so having that in mind pwede mo siyang i-adjust we cannot do we cannot do anything about the construction of the microphone anymore kasi nga dyan na yan but what we can do is to move the microphone slightly away from us para kung sakali magulat tayo hindi siya direct dun sa capsule at hindi natin papasabugin yung audio coming from the microphone. I hate hearing clipped audio. Yan yung biglang parang nadudurog yung sound ng mic. Uh, number two, pwede mo i-control yung levels ng, ng mic ng mic input sa OBS at saka mic levels din dito sa, dito sa mismong Windows uh, audio properties. You can control that. Or, if you're using, ito na, papasok tayo dun sa audio interface. If you're using an audio interface, pwede mong kontrolin yung gain until it is just enough for you to have a healthy signal. So, another weakness of the BM800 is a slightly noisy microphone. Actually, medyo maingay talaga siya. What I'm trying to say is napaka-sensitive ng capsule niya when it comes to background noise. You may hear the uh, fan blowing towards me dito. Um, it will definitely pick up yung sound sound ng PC pag malapit ka malapit yung microphone sa PC um, definitely maririnig yung tilaok ng manok yung tahol ng aso yung ingay ng bata sa tabi ko and even of course yung chismisan ng kapitbahay so what will you do? Um, or so it's a good thing to know that para kung sakaling balak mong gamitin ng microphone na to it must be somewhere na medyo Uh, acoustically treated. Hindi naman totally soundproof, ano? Because if you are able to soundproof your room, chances are you will not be purchasing this mic in the first place. Siguro bibili ka ng mas, uh, medyo mas mataas na klase ng microphone. That is not to say that the BM800 is bad. In fact, it sounds good. It sounds decent. Diba? Yes, it will not be something you would want to use for voiceover work, uh, for 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 a paid recording, ayan, for a multi, multi-million peso recording uh, contract. Hindi mo siya gagamitin for that. Ano? It has its purpose and for streaming, for, uh, for if you are starting to stream, if you are starting a YouTube channel, this will serve you well. So that being said, obviously, gusto ko talaga yung mic, ano, for, in my opinion, This mic sounds absolutely great for its price. And yun nga, ginamit ko siya for, I think, six months during the time na nagsisimula pa lang ako mag-stream. And as you can hear, it sounds good. It sounds nice. Diba? Um, and it's in some instances, at a specific volume level, this mic sounds better than my Rode Procaster. So, ang hirap ng kapin na, no? A 450 peso microphone sounds better at specific levels, at specific uh, speaking technique, it sounds better than a 16,000 peso microphone, which is the Rode Procaster. So that answers the first question that we asked earlier. Do you need an expensive microphone for your streaming setup? The answer is totally no. 
you could you could do well with uh, with the humble BM800. So there's an underlying question dun sa tanong nakakasagot lang natin, right? Now, do you really need to upgrade from a BM800 to something that is, let's say, maybe better? Well, the answer that I have is uh, that depends sa dalawang bagay. So I guess kailangan mo muna sagutin yung dalawang additional questions para ma-justify yung pag-upgrade from your trusty, your humble BM800. So the first question is, have you did enough research? By the time na dumating sa doorstep mo, yun ay deliver sa doorstep mo yung microphone. Um, uh, do you know how will it sound? Uh, have you have you reviewed some of the uh, YouTube videos regarding this microphone? So did you do your homework? And then kasama nun, uh, do you think that the microphone that you are eyeing for, the one that you're planning to upgrade to, do you think it will fit your voice? Have you tried uh, looking for YouTube reviews for that specific microphone um, with uh, audio samples? Katunog ba ng boses nung nag-review yung boses mo? So that is one thing. Uh, that is the first question that you need to ask yourself. If that is a yes, then good. Punta tayo sa number two. The upgrade that you're planning to do, do you really like it? Gustong gusto mo ba talaga yung microphone? Because truth be told, at the end of the day, yung, yung mga microphone na to na ginagamit natin sa streaming, uh, there, and there are a lot, uh, a lot of microphones out there, um, hindi naman siya exactly noticeable ng mga, mga viewers eh. Hindi siya kapansin-pansin. Unless of course meron siyang signature na tunog na nakakainis. Buzzing noise, hiss, um... Um, siguro sobrang reverb na para kang nasa 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 loob ng ng drum yun yun yung na, yun, yun, yun yung natatandaan ng tao dahil nakakairita sa sa pandinig but uh, um, microphones basta for as long as wala siyang nakakairitang uh, tunog they all sound the same for our audience for our general ano, the, the general population of our viewers they all sound the same right that's the reason why i'm asking you if you really 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 like the microphone then if the answer is yes then by all means go hindi ako yung klase ng youtuber content creator uh, or or someone who talks about gear or microphones na pwede na yan pwede na yung BM800 you don't need to spend uh, any any more you don't need to spend more money for a better microphone I would not advise anyone to do that dahil dahil pag ginawa ko yun then nagpapakipokrito ako because I myself I want I want a collection of microphones and I'm starting my collection right now diba? if you really want something if you really want a specific gear to be added to your system to your to your setup then by all means go diba? for as long as hindi mo ihasakripisyo yung pangkain mo sa araw-araw for as long as hindi mo ikokompromiso yung, yung pagkain ng pamilya mo or for as long as hindi magugutom yung anak mo then why not diba? If if you will be saving your hard-earned money to buy something that would uplift your spirit when it comes to content creation, when it comes to to uh, streaming, then why not? De ba? Bakit kita pipigilan? Bakit ka pipigilan ng kahit sino YouTuber or bakit ka pipigilan ng kahit sino content creator? For as long as you want that microphone, and then you on you answered yes dun sa unang tanong natin, which is um which is kung ginawa mo ba yung homework mo at ni-research mo na buti yung, 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 yung purchase na yan, then go ahead, upgrade, and leave, and uh, leave the great BM, and leave the humble BM800 sa yung sa yung shelf. Right? It's that, that's what I'm doing. Naka-display to eh. Um, I'm not using it uh, on a regular basis anymore, but uh, naka-display siya. So it reminds me kung saan ako nagsimula, and I would be really, really happy kung sakaling man, malaman ko na there are some of you na ganun din. Yung tinatago, chine-cherish mo yung mga ganitong, yung mga gamit mo na nagsisimula ka. Because those are things that could remind us kung paano tayo nagsimula dito sa ginagawa natin. But uh, nonetheless, I hope I was able to, to uh, help you realize how good of a microphone the BM800 is. And sana nakatulong din ako regarding your decision for the uh, next upgrade. Well, the next microphone upgrade that you will be uh, purchasing. So if in any case you enjoyed this video, kung sakaling may natutunan kayo sa video na to, leave it a like. And kung sakaling naman mas lalo kayo naguluhan at nainis kayo, <laughs> leave it a thumbs down. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then maybe subscribe with notifications on. This has been 
your Tito Pabs saying stay down, stay brown. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>